The most contaminated place in the entire Western Hemisphere isn't at a polluting factory or an old chemical plant. It's right here in Washington State, the Hanford Nuclear Site. It's where, in 1944, the federal government started producing plutonium for the Manhattan Project, the country's secret nuclear program. That plutonium fueled the nuclear bomb dropped on Nagasaki in 1945. Production continued for 45 years. It lasted throughout the Cold War. As the U.S. and Soviet Union threatened each other, they stockpiles of nuclear warheads. During that time, 2.3 trillion gallons of radioactive waste was released right into the soil. In 1989, production stopped and cleanup began. Hanford was officially the country's biggest and most toxic nuclear dump. Worst of all, 56 million gallons of liquid waste buried in underground tanks. They're holding a lethal cocktail of cancer-causing radioactive material and nasty chemicals. The tanks are now leaking. More than one million gallons of waste has already escaped into the soil and is headed toward the Columbia River. That could kill wildlife, ruin irrigation for farmers, and eventually reach our food supply. The worst threat at Hanford? A hydrogen buildup inside a tank could lead to an explosion spewing radioactive materials across a three-state area. It's the federal government's responsibility to clean up Hanford, but it's taking much more time and money than ever imagined. It could last into the 2080s and cost taxpayers $100 billion or more with no guarantee it will work.